The anticipatory music transformer is a generative model of music. It's like ChatGPT, except instead of generating text, it generates notes in a music composition. This model is based on a new idea that we've invented called anticipation. And what this allows the model to do is generate music with some foreknowledge of parts of the music that are upcoming in the future. So for example, uh, if you've given this model a melody, it can generate an accompaniment to that melody, anticipating the notes in the melody that are gonna come up next. I grew up playing the cello in a community of, of classically trained musicians. I ended up becoming a computer scientist, and in my role as a computer scientist, I'm interested in, in building tools that, that give back to that community. So right now there's a lot of interest in these generative music models that directly generate audio. So you press a button and you get an audio performance out of the model. And these demos are very flashy, you get high quality music out that sounds like something that almost might be playable on the radio, but it doesn't give the artist a lot of control over the process. Our models instead generate notes and you end up with, with a sequence of notes like sheet music that you could then maybe give an artist to perform. And in some ways, this means our demos are a little less flashy. They sound a little bit like a 90s video game because we don't have a real artist performing them. We're using music synthesizers to create the audio. But on the other hand, you're giving the composer working with this model discrete notes that they can then edit, change, replace, revise in ways that you just have much less control if the model is directly outputting audio. Let's see an example. I'm gonna play a melody and the anticipatory model is gonna hop in playing an accompaniment to the melody. You'll see the notes that I'm playing on screen in blue and then the model will hop in with an accompaniment that's colored in red. These are early days for these controllable generative models. Right now, these tools that we are building are very focused on solving the technical problems of how to get these models to be controllable and steerable by a user. We haven't worked so much yet on the actual process of integrating these tools into audio workstations and creative processes that a composer could actually use. So right now, the process for controlling these models involves knowing a little bit about code and being comfortable with the internal details of how these models work. And I'm very interested over the next few years about working with artists and musicians to understand their workflows better and how we can integrate these models into tools and creative processes that they feel comfortable using.